Hi everybody, it's Steve, not Udon here, N-O-T-U-D-O-N with Toby, Toby Meow. I'm doing an unboxing today of a new pair of Adidas and a collaboration they've done with a, a kind of a unique um, designer slash re, uh, repurposer of using the found materials, Helen um, Kirkcomb. I can't pronounce her name very well, but she's very cool in what she does. She actually takes her um, existing materials on other shoes and other materials, and she repurposes and makes handmade shoes. Now, the Adidas collection there is not a handmade shoe, but it's using kind of more recycled materials than usual in the production process, and it's a very neat pair. So let me take a look at the box here real quick. Um, you can tell this is Helen Kirkham on the front there. Um, the size says um, very important things inside, very cool um, detail, seen for the first time. Contents, so basically it's like a found box of your, of your supplies, and then you can see information about the shoe there. This is a pair of the um, X Plur Boost or a, a, a Boost shoe. Um, and again, the other pair they've done is a pair of Abrams, which I did not get. This is the pair I got. So the box, let's take a look at open up inside. I'll talk about the shoe a bit more. I get the box, Toby gets the box, I get the shoes. You know the routine. So these pairs are very limited. There's only 3,000 made of each style of shoe. So this this release here is limited to the 3,000 pairs of the shoe. Um, her style, usually like I said, is using found materials and re recycled materials. So um, the pair itself has an, a kind, of, kind of a cobbled together look to it. I'm um, not similar to the kind of the same design being the Sean Witherspoon's collection earlier, but this is more limited. And I think it's more unique. Um, the design here you can see the hand-drawn um, swooshes on the side, on the stripes on the side there, um, you can see that they're kind of hand-drawn. They're more like, it's not they're not on the machine, on the material itself. You can see below where it's on the outer one, not the inner one. They're kind of painted on the inside there. Um, but it has this unique um, triple loop system for lacing in the front there. Different way of doing the laces there. It does have her brand identity on the side there with that with the hang tags. You can you see the Helen Kirkham um, hang tag on the side there. Eventually, I'll get this to stick down. And again, I just put them on the box for the first time. So let's take a look at the other side of the shoe here as well. Again, you can see it easier on this one. Helen Kirkman hanging down, Helen Kirkham hanging down the side there. And all the hand-drawn embellishments or the design details on the side. Now, the materials are kind of rough. I do like very interesting approach to the bottom of the gum sole, or the bottom sole. See their edges are kind of loose. So they have taken, they, they haven't trimmed off the excess fabric, and that's the design of the shoe. So this material here kind of hangs off the side as an extra piece. So it's kind of a really neat, unique approach to the bottom of the shoe. Um, again, the shoe itself, again, very limited, 3,000 pairs per style. Um, I didn't, I did see these in the, I saw these online at first, and there's no information that new, from Adidas on it about it being anything that unusual other than it was Helen Kirkham. And then I went to the store and I saw them in person. I was really, thought, really taken back by the shoe. very striking when I saw them on the shelves. Held them in hand, very comfortable. Boost in the bottom, very comfortable to wear, very cushiony. And I really liked them, but I didn't didn't act upon it at the time because I thought they were very cool. But I, you know, this is, I saw them in the Adidas store at the Dubai Mall, the main store downstairs. <clears throat> and there's no information about it, so I said, well, it's a, it's a mass release. No, no need to act fast on it. It'll be here for a while. And then I got home with an article. It was I guess it was in um, Hypebeast article about it that talked about they're limited to 3,000 pairs. At the same time, a friend of mine, Tim, uh, Tim, um, in um, London, hit me up saying, "Hey, I saw your pictures I posted on my stories about the shoe. Can you get me some? Because they're impossible to get here in London. They're hard to get in the UK." And that's when I realized this is the shoe is a little harder to get than usual. So it is very limited though, oddly enough here in Dubai, they're on the website still, they're in the store still, where else in the world they've sold through the numbers because it is a very limited pair. The insole you can see here also, the future is here, different approach to that also. Kind of a cool approach that one, the other one. Same, um, and then the other side is a little different, same on the other side of the, of the insole. Pull it out, you're here. So the future is here, you're here. So kind of a unique approach to the storytelling on the shoe. Again, I did try them on. They're very comfortable, very cushiony. Uh, a neat pair. Again, it's kind of more an outdoor, a more act, outdoor adventure shoe. Um, definitely made for walking, walking distances on. Even the outside here, even the the, the 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 between the cushioning, even that has an extra piece in the back. They're also kind of sticking out. So they do take this approach of basically having excess materials on the shoe, having it be more sticking out further. So. Again, it's really cool looking in person. When I first saw them, I was taken, I was really striked by them. I liked them a lot, and I'm glad I picked them up. Now I realize that they are kind of a more unique, a limited pair. So, if you want to get a pair, 
go now because they are limited to 3,000 worldwide. So there's a pair that's definitely gonna be hard to get. Is it gonna be something that increases in value? I don't think so. Could be, I don't know. I mean, sometimes you never know the future. Tom Sachs, those are escalated by quite heavily being limited. I didn't know that at the time. Um, this pair, I don't know this made anything that, that unusual other than they're really cool and they're, they're very comfortable and it's a great pair. So Kirkham Studios is the brand that her, her, her master brand is Kirkham Studios. Oh, Helen Kirkham is the artist. Um, I do check out the website, learn more about her, and learn more about the materials used as well. So again, 20% recycled materials. Um, just a very, a very, I get a different looking shoe, a different approach than what's out there a lot of other shoes right now. So I do like this shoe because it is a little bit different than a lot of what I've seen around currently. So that's it for the day. Toby and I are gonna go now and relax. Um, he's gonna stay in the box. You know, I'm going to enjoy life. So we'll talk to you next time. Be sure to follow me, not Udon, and O-T-U-D-O on Instagram, Troll Wrangler on, on YouTube, and of course, in real life, call me Steve. See you out there in the real world. Take care. And for Toby and me, have a great day. Alrighty, bye.